In today's video, I'm gonna be starting a brand new series where I come on here once every two weeks and I review other real estate agents' advertisements, their campaigns, the copywriting, the creatives, and give my opinion and tips on what I would do to essentially make that advertisement better. So let's get into the video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, if you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you being here and watching another video. If you're new, before we get into anything, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, maybe even comment down below some videos that you would personally like to see next week or the week after that so I can help you out. Now, if you don't know who I am and you're new, my name is Carter Vincentini. I'm the co-founder of Versatile Agency. We're a full service real estate specialized marketing agency doing everything from a to Z for our clients to build their personal brand, advertise on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google to bring in new business. And uh, that's a little bit about me, but let's get into this video. So before I get into this new series that I think will be very fun, I get to go into the ad library, review some realtors advertisements, give my opinion on what it is that I would do to make it better. Now, quick disclaimer before I get into doing this, this is just my opinion. I'm not saying what I do is correct or I'm, you know, my opinion is better than everyone else as far as what it is that these people are doing. I'm just giving my personal opinion on what it is that I would do. Not saying it's right, not saying what they're doing is wrong. It's just my opinion. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be jumping on the laptop. We're going to be going on to the Facebook ad library. And I think today we're going to be reviewing some ads that are being ran in the Toronto, Canada, area. So uh, we're going to go on there. We're going to check out some advertisements, give my opinion and tips on what it is that I would do. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get onto the laptop. So we have the first advertisement here that we're going to be reviewing and I'm going to, I'm going to blow up, blur out their name and their profile, obviously for the very bare minimal of people that can actually see this. You guys don't harass them or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, that's happened to me in the past, actually. I posted TikTok. I got thousands of views on on t on TikTok. Obviously, it was a cold call, and it blew up. I forgot to blur out like his email or something, and he got absolutely blasted. J just a bunch of random emails. But so this is the first advertisement. So let's break this down. And essentially, what I'm looking at first is if I'm on Facebook, I'm scrolling through, and I get hit with this ad. The first thing that people look at is obviously the creative and the actual advertisement so it's not horrible it will definitely grab your attention if you're in the toronto area because you can clearly see that it's a picture of your city because you have the cn tower and stuff like that which is uh, why you would know obviously it's toronto so this is good because it's essentially calling out your target audience and people know that it's, it's toronto right away after i look at the image then i go to you know the copywriting the primary text right above it are you looking to rent slash lease a downtown Toronto condo, but don't know where to start. Contact me now for a free consultation. So it's very, very generic. I mean, the creative, I understand it's always the worst creatives that perform really well, like simple stuff like a home collage, images like this. So can't do too much judging on the advertisement. I mean, I would maybe choose like a, a better picture or something that might make a little bit more sense for real estate, do a home collage or a condo apartment collage, stuff like that. The copywriting is pretty boring. You don't have any, um, you know, emojis or anything like that. It's just very basic, very typical thing. Just are you looking to rent lease downtown Toronto condo? You don't know where to start. It's very typical. That maybe would have worked back in 2015 when no one was running Facebook ads and you would be like the only ad on there. But I think there's a lot more competition now, especially in big cities like Toronto. You got to have it. It's got to be more appealing than this. All you have is just text with nothing. Just one line, very common image and ad. And then his actual call to action is WhatsApp. So his headline text is his name, Dash Realtor for some reason. I don't think you should have that. You should probably have another call to action. Contact me now or something. Learn more. Um, get your list of apartments, have another call to action down there. Definitely don't just want to have your name. 
And then as you can see here, it says API whatsapp.com. So his actual call to action is to go to WhatsApp. You can have different things like you can direct them to a website, a landing page, you can have them Facebook message you, Instagram DM. So he's specifically using WhatsApp. I've only ever ran traffic campaigns and lead form campaigns. So I don't really know the conversion when it comes to WhatsApp could be good. But overall, what I would give this advertisement is out of 10, honestly, like a 4.8. <laughs> I'm gonna get really exact and precise with this stuff because I wanna start a series and I think it'd be fun doing like the the Dave Portnoy version of pizza reviews, the Mike Malak burger reviews turned business and marketing style. We're gonna be doing advertisement reviews. So yeah, I'd give this a 4.8. Overall, there's nothing special about it. You're not separating yourself from the competition whatsoever. The copywriting is very boring. You don't have anything that stands out, no emojis, no separation in the text. The actual copywriting itself is just very basic. Just are you looking to rent lease downtown? Nothing special about that. No call to action. You're not providing any value to your target audience of people that are looking to rent. And then your headline text isn't good at all. It's just your name with realtor. You should have a call to action down there. The actual creative itself, very basic. Once again, you don't have a variety of different images. It doesn't really appeal to me right away. It's good that you're, you're getting the target audience and you have it based around Toronto. If it was just random apartment buildings, that'd be much worse. So overall, I'm gonna give this ad in this guy a 4.8 out of 10. If you guys like this video, do me a favor, please like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, comment down below if you like this series. I'm gonna be doing it once every two weeks. I think it'd be fun to do advertisement reviews and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.